This is day 46 in the Gaza-Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. The fighting against Hamas in Gaza continues as IDF forces from the tanks, infantry, and engineering corps are engaged against a battalion of Hamas called Zaytun. This battalion has special units. One unit is specializing in explosive suicide attacks against IDF forces and Israelis. The fighting against this unit is taking place in the area of Zaytun. And it's very hard because the terrorists are placing their locations inside a residential neighborhood and popping out of kindergartens, of schools, and out of other civilian houses. The IDF is slowly destroying more terrorists and neutralizing all the command stations of the Zaytun Brigade inside Gaza. This enables us to neutralize the command structure of Hamas's units, making it very hard for them to operate. During the fight, the IDF was able to uncover an underground terror tunnel and multiple weapons, weapons manufacturing facilities, drones, and other terror ammunition underneath a mosque, amongst other places. We already know that Hamas is using the civilian population in order to carry out its terror attacks against Israel. Hamas understands that Israel is fighting according to the rules of the international community. And that's exactly why we need to share the truth so that the world will understand that Israel is not fighting a moderate state. Israel is fighting an evil that has no regard for any rules of combat for their civilian population. And moreover, they use the fact that Israel is abiding by the rules in order to jeopardize their own civilian population. They are using Gazan civilians as human shields. And we need to share this with the rest of the world. During these attacks, the IDF was able to retrieve valuable information that will help us share light on the whereabouts of the hostages and conduct our next step of operations against Hamas in southern Gaza. We all hope and pray to find the 238 remaining hostages that are still being held somewhere underneath the Gaza Strip. We need your help in sharing the truth of what is happening in Israel so that the IDF can keep on and complete its missions of destroying Hamas and releasing the Israeli hostages that are still being held somewhere underneath the Gaza Strip. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the safety of the Israeli soldiers, and for the quick release of the hostages. Thank you.